Okay, hope to see you there. Bye. Live from United Supermarkets, welcome to You Can Share 2023. Brought to you by UMC Health System. Thank you so much for joining us as we wrap up our final day. When we come to you tonight at 10, we'll have a total for you. We don't have that total just yet. We've got some numbers we're going to get to behind us, but we do know that we got a 76 thousand dollar anonymous donation coming in and that was earlier this week we've been kind of waiting to tell you that because it was such a great surprise thank you to that anonymous donor thank you to everyone who's come by with even just five dollars a dollar remember that one dollar is three meals that the south plains food bank can provide to people in need across 19 counties here on the south plains one in three children is food insecure one in seven families doesn't know where their next meal is going to come from but with you and your help and your donation it's possible the auction online, kcbd.com slash you can share goes on until 10 o'clock tonight. You can go join that. We've got a lot of people to get to. Let's start over here with the Lubbock Association of Realtors. Donna, thank you so much. This is incredible. Tell me about this check. Yes, this is $30,000 that we raised. Um, this is on behalf of our over 1,700 realtor and associate members of the Lubbock Association of Realtors. We've done this for over a decade now where we've raised money. We call it Tree Pack for Turkeys. It's a way to advocate for private property rights, but also give back to the community in which we serve. And we are so excited to be able to do this and give back. This is incredible. $30,000 that will go to buy turkeys that go in our Christmas boxes. Yes. Something that's really so special and brings families together during the holiday times. It definitely does. This is one way that we as realtors can help do something for the community that we work in, that we live in, and are a part of. We are so thankful. This is incredible. Incredible. Those turkeys are going to feed so many people. Thank you so Thank much. $30,000. That's incredible. Case. Travis Johnson, board chair of the South Plains Food Bank. It's the final few hours of You Can Share this year. What's your message to our viewers? Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you for all those that have supported us this week. I think it's been an amazing week. Um, but I do want to give this final push. It's not over. Um, we will try to do our final reveal tonight at the 10 o'clock news. Um, we came into this day um, still needing uh, to hit our goal of our $400,000 goal. Uh, we've talked all week about all the different programs. It's more about uh, than just giving a hand out, but we're really giving a hand up. It's more than just a food box. It's nutrition programs. It's uh, uh, um, wellness programs. It's um, talking to people about how they can better manage their money. And so there's so many things that we do across um, the South Plains. And so I just ask that all of you, um, if you've not participated thus far, you can still get involved in this amazing um, organization and then also this amazing uh, fun drive. So you can do that at spfb.org slash UCS23. Um, you can also find all this link, all these links on the KCBD website. And we hope that people go to support that. As Travis just mentioned, it's so much more than giving out food and it's creating, you know, better members of our, our, of our community. And it's a way for other community members to get involved and support one another. I'll send it over to you, Christy. Thanks so much, Case. Okay, Friendship Middle School, you set a goal and you surpassed it. Tell me about that. So, yes, our original goal was $1,500, but we ended up raising, raising $2,000. That is awesome. And what did you guys do to bring in all the money? We did a couple of raffle tickets. One of them was to pie our math teacher in the face, and another one was a family pack to go to Adventure Park. We've also done a bunch of dress-up days and... Yeah. Who got to pie the math teacher in the face? And has it happened yet? No, it hasn't happened yet. We're oh. still... All right. Well, then, best of luck to the math teacher. <laughs> Let's hear it for Friendship Middle School. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. I'm here with uh, McCool Academy. Faith and Roslyn here. Faith, how much did you guys raise? Our original goal was $1,600, but we raised $997. And those $997, th that's incredible for you guys to support the food bank. So, uh, Rosalind, how did you guys raise all that money? Well, we had multiple fundraisers, like one that included um, two teachers that got nominated to get pied in the face, and many dress-up days, and turkey grams that we sold for $1. A lot of teachers getting pied in the face this week, but that's great. It's for the food bank. Thank you guys so much. Let's hear it from McCool Academy. Woo! Christy. Thanks so much, Case. I'm here with Brooke from uh, the Health and Wellness Center with UMC. They're our presenting sponsor. Thank you so much. You guys just opened this week. Tell us a little bit about why you've um, really stood behind our mission of food is medicine. Yeah, so at UMC, we do believe food is medicine, and 
providing access to that nutrition to nutritious foods is how um, it's essential for treating managing preventing um, and tr treating chronic diseases and any illnesses and it's so important and you are the director of UMC connect which is the health and wellness fitness center with yes. inside that facility at 110th and slide and I want you to brag about it because it's great <laughs> yes so um, it's pairing technology with fitness in a way that um, we're not just lucky in Lubbock to have it. Nobody nobody in the world has the equipment that we do. So we're very excited that we get to share that with the community um, to help on that preventative side of medicine. Brooke, thank you so much. It's now open and it is incredible, Case. Christy, I'm here with Sydney Hopper with United Supermarket. Sydney, we've been asking people all week to donate at the register and folks have. i tell you what, the community shows up as they always do. I wanna thank our team members and thank all of our guests. They show up in a big way. Uh, we're going to continue to take donations through the weekend, so we encourage everybody to get by through Sunday and give what they can to such a great cause to help our community. And let's see this big check okay. from the donate at the register. So the, from our guests and our team members, we got $40,000 that they donated this year went above and beyond. And then on top of that, United Supermarkets and all of our team members would like to add an additional $15,000 on to help the cause. Thank you so much, Sydney and United Supermarkets. $55,000 for the food bank. That's absolutely incredible. Thank you for letting us take over your parking lot for 40 years of doing this. Yeah. This is just simply amazing, Christy. Thank you so much, United. Thank you so much for everyone who has donated a dollar at the register. You still have time. KCBD.com slash you can share. We'll see you back here tonight at 10 for the final tally.